Okay, my friends, uh, let's make a little uh, review here. I just got this one. It's from Ned Nedeco, Nedeco, and it's a, a, a air pump. Um, I was watching the other day uh, several videos about which one to pick because I don't buy something until I need it. So I it really don't need it, but uh, sometimes it, it's like a, um, I go to work and, and why I exposing uh, uh, the corners of the painting uh, got uh, scratches and I, like like for example oops, this one came off uh, for example there so it is easy to to match the uh, you have the a proper tool it would be easy to match the the paint and, and fix it right away well it's uh it came just like this it says uh you only says that airbrush kit design for you um a little paperwork it doesn't says very much well i buy this one i pick this one because it, it says that uh that it will shoot at 30 psi but i was reading uh, before uh, carefully but in reality it shoots at 22 PSI uh, I don't know if you can see 22 working airbrush uh, pressure 22 PSI so charging time one hour um, battery is 7 uh, 50 million pairs very light um, continuous working time um, 0.5 hours well let's see um, okay let's start with the airbrush it's a Nedeco whatever it, it's pronounced in my language we call it Nedeco Maybe in yours it will be like Nideko. I don't know. Um, we, already, we already know that this is a crap thing. <laughs> so I always use Awatas. Let me uh, go and grab one of my Awatas. Because that's what we want to try, right? Um, uh, let's keep watching what what it comes. It comes a pump here. Comes with the uh, with the cable to charge that thing and two cups. I'm not gonna use this because I never do. <laughs> um, well, we never know, but um, pretty much I. Uh, Pretty sure that uh, oh we got a drop here I like that that's helpful oh, I think the the only thing good is the pump the hose and that's it I think there is something else there maybe they give me a gift well, I doubt it because it comes from China anyways <coughs> uh, well, let's put all these things back here because, oh, don't tell me, this is a joke. Look at this, hilarious. I mean, compared to the Iwatas, look at this. And it's plastic. <laughs> well, anyways, um, just going to put it back there because, um, 
Okay, let's see what's um Okay, first of all I already chew it to be honest. So I just trying to make like the review like I just opening but it's not nearly it's not closest to a real pump because I got my my compressor here on the side. I made it just on a fridge um compressor. I got a video, maybe I will leave it up here. <coughs> <coughs> um it's, it's um silence um it can be for a doctor's also it's a uh, um, ultra silence uh, I love it <coughs> that's the only way I have several uh, I have so many uh, so many uh, compressors uh, I decide to make mine because I made it to okay uh, let's keep going with this thing So let's set up the airbrush. Uh, I think we don't need we don't need this. We don't need this. Probably this. Um, let's take out. The, uh, let me put it down so I can look better. Oops, hard. So a good thing that this one fits uh, on any airbrush. So it will fit on my. Um, on my uh, Iwata I have a uh, whoops and where I was I was saying that uh, we, we will okay we want to see how it works and uh, I buy it to use it in this way so Just I want to show you how how it behaves. So I don't know if you can see that. Not too bad, but I mean for modeling it will be perfect, but not to work it like a, a like a, I used to do with, with my uh, air my normal airbrush well let me see uh, I got another I water here this is a 0.5 millimeters and that one is a 0.35 um, of course it is a lot of difference between my compressor this is my compressor and it's set up at 33 free air. I always uh, work on high pressure because I got used to high pressure. So that is that is um, that was my uh, HPCS on 35, and this is. Uh, a lot different, huh? Well, it is quiet, very quiet. It doesn't bother, doesn't vibrate. I like it. Uh, uh, I mean, good thing for that. Um, of course, this is shooting at 22. And this one is going to be shooting at... 33. So, like I said, I just bought it because uh, occasionally uh, I'm going to take it at work and fix two things for my for my painting. But not too bad, you know? Not too bad. Also, if you run out of battery, 
uh, you can plug it in here it keep working and um, I thought it was going to be big but it's not it's not too big so you can see the, almost the size of the uh, the airbrush what is the uh, okay the other airbrush well I got this master here the what is about well the what is smaller than the it's almost uh, about the same, same high um, uh, that one that master will this is the G33 that will fit there I already use this one but oh my Kulani uh, no, I need to take that out that out Well, anyway, the colony requires more power. Well, I can shoot a 33 also, but um, I, I shoot with th with 23, so <coughs> it should be around 40, but 35, 40, but uh, I just use it on 33 uh, every airbrush. So I'm not doing modeling, so I I don't have to worry about the the pressure bouncing in the in the the little things that you that you're painting so I think it's, it's a great buy um, I mean I'm happy with this uh. okay before we run let's make a little test uh, before we go I got a bit of liquid paint here I'm gonna put it there um let's try this piece of paper and put everything on the sides so that's the manual one got wet so if you have any questions just uh let me know i will put the link below in case you wanna I get it i got it i buy it at least press way cheap it just okay let's put a little bit of this not too much because and see how it should because that's what everybody wants to see right That's a point thirty four, huh? Not too bad, I mean for for, for modeling, it's okay. For my studio um I'd rather use uh, the one with the compressor and this one oops I knocked the camera and that's that's, that's another story well um I think it does the job uh, I think um in a little bit because, because it meant for um, for uh, for a uh, uh, point three millimeters in a use you know well I think it should go with more pressure I think. Oh, I think the spider went off. Okay, now we're talking. Now 
Well, well, I guess that's it. So, um, let's say charge one hour, like you said. So, uh, the light on this will, will turn red when it's low, and when it's full, it will go green. And that's it, my friend. I said it was going to be short, so any question, just let me know. Bye bye, and see you on the next video. Okay, my friends, you just saw the, the results, um, the testing, and and conclusions. What I like, and what I don't like. Okay, I think it's good. I think it's good. I mean, for the um, for the points that comes on the on the on the airbrush point. Uh, Three, it's 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 okay. It's just enough for this. And I f I feel that it needs a little more push, a little more power. And and uh, let me see the the battery because uh, with the other one, with this one, this uh, point thirty five, it start uh, spiring a little bit that means that it needs more pressure and um, for that one it should be okay and um, for a more for a small jobs for uh modelings um and um, the small things it's all right you know just as a as a backup i think it's it's, it's okay but if you plan to use another airbrushes like a, a like I did oh, the point five, it's not gonna do it. Uh, um, with the uh, with the Colani, uh, not even to, to talk about it because the Colani requires uh, more pressure. <coughs> okay, let's 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 talk about uh, uh, the battery. I don't know if I mentioned that it's a, a dual action pressure aperture. Um, the battery I think is very uh, poor. It's a uh, um, it's a uh, seven fifty uh, milliampers. That that means that it's not gonna last uh, very much. That's they say you can work with uh, 30 minutes um, and the voltage is 7.4. I think if you raise the volts, I mean if you change the battery, this could make it uh, more, uh, let's say, more power to the, uh, to the little engine that is here. So I think that, that can be one one solution for for this. But like I guess like I said, it's not bad. But to me, it, it was kind of short. I like it because it, it doesn't waste. It is alright for my uh, for I was thinking to uh, to fix uh, those. Uh, those corners, uh, always when I, I, I take it out and put it back in the car or I'm exposing, uh, you got the painting pillow in, in the very right corner. And that's the reason that, that I want. And sometimes uh, if I expose in uh, outdoors, uh, sometimes the birds come and make a little thing over there. <laughs> um, you have to fix it, you have to wash it, and if something is difficult, you can repaint it, and, and that's it, you know? Um, because I don't want to take uh, the, the, the whole compressor to to uh, outdoors, because it, it, it is heavy. Um, remember, uh, I'm gonna leave you the link about how I made this uh, this compressor. 
it's not difficult. It's just I didn't have the money and and I make that. I had several compressors already that I sold it. Only kept two. That one and one that it's called uh, California. But that's for a uh, uh, way bigger guns for a uh, uh, professional guns. Um, it. I think. Well, I think that's it. So. Leave me any comments. You think this is helpful? Um, it helps me the comments to keep making more uh, videos. And that's it. Um, I didn't got uh, really satisfied of the of the pressure. It's too little f for me. So I decided to, to take a second look. This is, this is the, something that um, I haven't seen. So I improved this uh, pressure meter. And we're going to see if, if, if the pressure is OK. So the manual says it would run to, uh, to uh, 30, 20, 22 psi maximum pressure 30 uh, but there is no uh, there is not 30 uh, psi pressure <coughs> um, so that seals uh, very good so we got a, a a clock here that measures from 0 to 60 psi so it should reach about um, about 20 and um, let's take a look uh, you can see see okay one more time more or less see let's go again see it measures about 21 more or less is there so I still think it's too weak. At least 25. Uh, I mean, for modeling, it's okay because you don't need much pressure. It's just, it's just barely enough to shoot. But um, that's what it is. So there is no more. Um, so fortunately, I I was checking this thing that nobody does. Um, this thing. So I open up this, of course, with the, with the, uh, with the help of the wrench. And so nobody knows how it's pump inside. So, so that's, that's a pump. That's all what we have. We got like a cup here. That, uh, see? And we got a, a pressure pressure state uh, we call it presostato in, in my language <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is what what makes it stop the airbrush when it reaches the pressure and um, you got the little engine and the motor there it's uh, I don't know I think it, it could I think the motor is okay but I think this has to be improved in this uh, little compressor and that's it what what else can i can i show you i show you the other part before there is nothing back there just a chip battery it's a six volt, six point four, right? What I said uh, last time. S 
7.4 but the engine says uh, it's a 6 volts uh, motor but uh, it don't matter it could be 10 but uh, it's not going to give you more pressure because of the uh, because of the little thing I call you the pressure stage pressure as uh, Preso state, preso stato. <coughs> so, like I said, it's not too bad, but uh, I'm gonna take this one back and hope everything turns okay. I step my um, my devolution. And now it's all wet my my finger imagine this is paint okay uh, let's uh, let me show you something else probably the back of the uh, just think this is I still thing is need a little more pressure, at least 25 to, to start working with. Um, well, that's it, my friends. Um, see you in, in the next video, and hopefully I will come up with another uh, model, because this one is not making me happy, at least at me. I was expecting uh, more pressure. But like everybody, we decide to go for the cheap and the cheap sometimes turns expensive. <laughs>